Hey everyone! Welcome to another casual English practice session. Today, we're talking about something we all deal with, but rarely think about the daily commute. Whether you're on a train, bus, or just sitting in traffic, commuting is a part of daily life for most of us. And it's always interesting to hear about what people experience on their way to work. I'm Tyler, and joining me is Liam, who has had some pretty unique commuting experiences himself. Let's dive into it, and don't forget to share your own commute stories in the comments below. So, Liam, how do you usually get to work? Car, bus, or train? I'm more of a train guy. It's convenient, and I can just relax or catch up on reading during the ride. Plus, I don't have to worry about parking, which is always a pain. Honestly, the train has become a nice buffer between home and work. It gives me some personal space to unwind before the day really starts. That's nice. Trains can be pretty chill. Do you notice anything interesting on your commute? Oh. All the time. There's this one guy I see almost every day who always wears the brightest suits. I swear, he's like a local celebrity on the train. Then there's this older lady who brings her little dog with her. It's like a mini community. You get to know over time. It's funny because you start recognizing people by their habits, like who always takes the same seat or who's always running late. That's awesome. It's funny how you can see the same people every day, but never actually talk to them. Do you listen to anything on your commute? Yeah, I'm usually listening to a podcast or an audiobook. I've been really into true crime lately, so that helps pass the time. If I'm feeling a bit tired, though, I'll just put on some music to zone out. I've even created playlists specifically for the train, depending on my mood, sometimes it's chill vibes, and other days, I need something upbeat to wake me up. Podcasts are great for commutes. I usually stick to music, but every now and then, I'll throw on a motivational podcast to kickstart the day. Ever notice any familiar faces on your ride? Definitely. There's this one guy who always falls asleep in the same seat. I have no idea how he wakes up in time for his stop. And there's another person who's always standing by the door with a cup of coffee that somehow never spills. It's kind of impressive. I've also noticed a couple of people from my office on the same train, but we've never really talked. It's like we all silently agree to just do our own thing. That's so relatable. Sometimes, you're just not in the mood for small talk in the morning, right? Exactly. Plus, I kind of like having that quiet time before the workday kicks off. It gives me a chance to gather my thoughts and mentally prepare for whatever's ahead. But I will say, once, I accidentally bumped into a colleague on the train and we ended up talking all the way to the office. It wasn't bad, but I missed my usual podcast time. It's funny how you get attached to those little moments of peace. That's always the trade-off, right? Do you have any little rituals to make the commute more enjoyable? I do actually. I always grab a coffee from the same place near the station. It's become part of my routine, like, I can't start my commute without it. There's something comforting about that first sip as I settle into my seat, like the day officially begins right then. And, if I've got a longer ride, I try to knock out a few emails, or just mentally prep for the day. It's my way of easing into work mode, without jumping straight into the chaos. That's smart. Having those little rituals makes the commute feel less like a chore. 
Have you ever had something random or unexpected happen during your commute? Oh yeah, one time the train was delayed, and this street musician just started playing his guitar on the platform. It turned into this impromptu concert, and people were actually dancing. It was such a cool way to break up the usual grind. Moments like that remind me that the commute isn't just about getting from point A to point B. Sometimes, it's where the fun happens, completely out of the blue. That's awesome. Sometimes, the unexpected moments make commuting more fun. Do you ever switch things up, maybe carpool, or take a different route? Not too often, but if I know I'm going to be working late, I'll drive instead. It's nice to have the flexibility. I've also tried biking a couple of times when the weather's good. It's a great way to get some exercise before sitting at a desk all day. And there's something about riding through the city in the morning, it gives you a whole different perspective on your surroundings. You notice the small things you'd never catch in a car or on the train. I bet biking feels refreshing compared to sitting in a car or train. Have you ever noticed any cool spots along your route? Actually, yes. There's this little park I pass by, and sometimes I see people doing yoga there in the morning. It's so peaceful, and every time I see them, I think about how that must be the perfect way to start the day. I've thought about stopping to join them sometime. Plus, there's this coffee truck parked nearby that has the best croissants. One of these days, I'm going to make a morning of it, coffee, yoga, and then a ride to work. That sounds like a nice way to start the day. Do you think your commute sets the tone for the rest of your day? Oh, for sure. If my commute is smooth and relaxing, I feel more energized and ready to tackle the day. But if it's crowded or stressful, I can definitely feel a little off for the first few hours at work. It's crazy how much that little slice of time in the morning can affect your whole mood. Sometimes, I'll even use the train ride home as a way to unwind and let go of whatever happened at work. I totally get that. A bad commute can really throw off your whole vibe. Have your commute habits changed at all recently? Yeah, I used to drive more, but I've been sticking to public transport lately. It's been less stressful, and I've been trying to be more eco-friendly, so it's a win-win. Plus, public transit has its perks, you meet all kinds of people, and there's always something to see. It's become less about convenience, and more about enjoying the experience. Good for you. It's nice when your commute feels more sustainable. Any big plans for mixing up your commute routine in the future? I've been thinking about trying one of those electric scooters just for fun. It seems like a cool way to get around, especially on nice days. Plus, no traffic. I mean, who wouldn't want to zip through the streets on a sunny morning right? It'd be a fun change of pace, and I'm all about finding new ways to keep things interesting. That sounds like a fun idea, Liam. Thanks for sharing your commute stories. It's always interesting to hear what people notice on their daily rides. To our viewers, we hope you enjoyed today's conversation. Tell us about your commute habits in the comments below. What do you listen to? And have you had any memorable moments during your ride? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next session.